Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the Compose feature that you have in Copilot. It's super cool, super easy to work with, and it is something that is going to be very handy when we're creating copy articles and even videos. It's going to be at the top uh, right, that little icon, and you have two different ones. You have a preview and you have a uh, final one. Use the one that's final, not preview. What you do is at the top, you have either chat or compose and then text where it says write about what you want. Remember this as good as your instructions are. That's the type of product you're going to get. In the tone, uh, you have the option of selecting those tones, but also adding some. I added that insightful one. And then the formats just organizes it according to what we need. You can either have already the LinkedIn post, which means it has the header one, header two, and header three as bullet points, as an email, as a report. In this case, I want it as a paragraph because I'm going to use it to create an article afterwards and use it to create a script for a video. Then select the length, medium seems to be working pretty fine, and then just hit on generate draft. It goes to work and remember this is the first copy, which means you will want to edit, you will want to put it in your flavor, and you have several regenerate features to, to use. I had a text uh, notepad on the side because I like to keep uh, copies of what it's creating. So whenever you have something like this, you can ask it to, um, to continue to give you more details. I like that feature because it helps you to uh, create content that is gonna be a little bit more rich than how you would think. So do not be afraid of continue to take advantage of those uh, aids that Copilot is giving you, the Compose feature. To copy, you're going to see that little box next to the arrows, that is the copy feature. All you have to do is click and then paste that material. I'm using a text. Uh, a text pad and then you see how can I improve or what are some common mistakes so if you keep uh, uh, hitting on there it's going to regenerate the text that is going to focus on that however if you can see there's nothing above which means that that material is gone which is why I would suggest you copy and paste it so that you keep a nice uh, sequence of everything that Copilot is creating for you I continue to ask for, uh, give me more examples, give me some things that happen uh, when you don't know how to use uh, prompt engineering and prompt design well, and that's what it's going. It's almost going like a chain of thought, but in this case, it's to make an article that is going to be deeper and much more interesting. You have the option, again, to copy, which is what I'm doing, and those little circles, arrows, that is to regenerate, exactly. So if you don't like it, just hit on regenerate, and that's what happens. You can click on that left arrow to go back to the previous versions in case you didn't copy it, and that's a good way to do it. Just go there and then hit on your copy box, and you can take that uh, first draft uh, and, and Put it all together. I created one whole uh, article or, or copy, which is what I'm going to use first to create an article, and then I'm going to take it to perplexity to uh, go ahead and create something richer for an article. And this is what it looks like in my text pad. Um, there's nothing fancy about it. And remember, this is where I'm going to start putting my my tweaks in it. I'm in perplexity.ai. I really like it. It's really good. And what I want to do is I want to shorten this article. I put those curly brackets in there because that tells the uh, the bot where, uh, what is the material that I want it to look for. And there you go. So I put it at the beginning and then I just go all the way to the end and put those curly brackets again. That's all. And then hit on my arrow and it goes to town. Why do I want it shorter? Because remember, there's limitations in space and you don't want it just to use all your, your material or all your capacity with your own prompt. And then it goes and creates something easier to digest, easier to work with, because I'm going to use that for, uh, the, uh, for the video. And when I worked in, in video, it didn't like very much having too much information. It was a little bit heavy. So this is much shorter. I can still go in perplexity and continue to do the same thing that I did in Copilot in making it richer. I took this and then I edited a little bit and I took it to in video to create 
a tutorial video about prompt design and prompt engineering. I will add it here so you guys can see what it is, but it's super easy. And remember, this is a tool. This is not going to replace your work, but it's a great starting point. And my favorite part is it prevents that whole white page syndrome. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you would use it. And even better, let me know how your journey with AI is going. I still love you guys. Bye-bye.